Hello, family and friends. I hope that you're doing well. We're in the season of Lent, and we're reading along with the outline that Pastor Judy provided for us. I hope that you're reading along as well. Then you'll know that today's text is John chapter 8, verses 1 through 11. This is the story where Jesus is teaching, and the religious leaders bring a woman into the temple court before him. Uh, she's been charged with uh, committing adultery, a sin, right? And uh, they're really trying to trap Jesus to uh, determine how it is that he's going to respond, what judgment he might make in a case like this. What's interesting is that when we get to the end of the story, when Jesus says to the woman, go and sin no more, what we discover really is that Jesus takes her through this ordeal and just loves her right through it. And that's what Jesus does for us, loves us right through whatever it is that we have done, whatever wrong that we may have committed. In this season of self social distancing, um, I pray that we're not distancing ourselves from God and what it means to know God and to know God's truths. But we're in co close confines and coming in close contact with one another and is a real temptation really to perhaps say some things, do some things that are not pleasing um, to the other or even to ourselves that we may regret. What's fascinating about this is that the way that Jesus loves us through our wrongs is when we realize what it is that we are saying, what it is that we're, we are doing. When we ask for forgiveness, Jesus does just that, forgives us. And when we find ourselves in that moment, when there's an opportunity to say or do something that isn't good for us or good for others, and we can make a better choice to say and do something that is right and good, that in that moment is when we can discover Jesus' love. Jesus will love us right through whatever it is that we're going through. I hope that encourages you today. Be encouraged. God bless you.